Today we did a basic water survival training. Being paratroopers, it's imperative to know how to survive in the water. In case an emergency happens and you find yourself in water, you'd be surprised there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to swim. That's why we do this kind of training to familiarize them more with the water. It's our, our priority to make sure the, uh, our soldiers are trained and proficient in what they do in their jobs and everything else. And one of the things was that, that we learned was to uh, waterize, I mean, to, to waterize your, uh, your rucksack. So you put all your gear inside of your wet weather bag, you seal up the weather bag airtight, then you stuff it inside your rucksack so it uh, prevents all your uh, items and equipment from getting wet. Then you uh, put your rucksack on, you uh, tread water inside the pool for two, two and a half minutes, and then you swim with your rifle from one edge, one edge of the pool to the other. This training is important because one, swimming is important, period. Mm -hmm. uh, swimming is one of those vital skills I think everybody should know how to do. Sometimes we do combat jumps and stuff, so we have to like know how to swim with those and like, how they float and stuff. You never know when you're going to be jumping out of an airplane and hit a body of water. It's really important to know how to swim and use that resource. Besides, this was very, very basic stuff. You usually have a crawl, walk, and run phase. This is definitely the crawl phase, you know, just simple, basic things to show soldiers how to keep themselves afloat. And that's top priority. You don't really need to know how to swim when, you, when you're trying to survive in the water. Basically, you need to learn how to, how to stay afloat with uh, exerting the least amount of energy as possible. Take your rucksack off, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Take your rucksack off, hurry up.